Mistake number four deals with the use of location statements in the text. When giving statements, when talking about tables, talking about figures in the text, it's important to use the present tense. If I were to say the baseline characteristics of all subjects were summarized in table one, if I were to use the past tense there, that would look strange. That would mean that possibly table one is going to change. Is that right? Is table one going to change? No, we don't live in Harry Potter's world. And so the baseline characteristics of all subjects are summarized in table one. Or figure four shows the results. You need to use the present tense because when talking about the images in your text because they're not going to change. In your results section, you talk about your results in past tense because this is what you found, but these location statements need to be in present tense. That's another common error. All right, mistake number five. Mistake number five is something that, as a, especially a non-native writer, it's something you've been facing since you've been studying English. It's to make sure that the subject and the verb agree. And so, if I was to say the ratio of positive cells per thousand cells were defined as the positivity index, the ratio of positive cells were defined. It looks like cells, cells is plural, cells were, but cells is not the subject. The ratio is the subject, and so I need to focus the ratio was defined as the positivity index. And so it's the ratio of positive cells per thousand cells was defined. The subject verb needs to match. And this is something that when you're proofing your paper, you need to check for. And the final mistake is having too many simple sentences and not just having too many simple sentences. It deals with having repeated information back to back in simple sentences. And so, as an example, we have the baseline characteristics are shown in table one. Table two shows the body temperature of all female subjects. And so we have table one, we have table two, we have characteristics are shown, table two shows. All of this information is repeated and it's back to back in two simple sentences. An easy way to fix this is to say that tables one and two show the baseline characteristics and body temperatures of all female subjects respectively. This use of respectively is another common error. If there's table one shows A, table two shows B, then there is no need for respectively. And as an editor, when I'm reading papers, I see respectively, it looks like almost put in random places. There's a format for that. One, two, three, A, B, C. There needs to be a match in there. I hope these tips have helped you. I look forward to speaking with you in a future event. Thank you very much.